You're listening to Texas Real Estate with Todd Tremonti, brought to you by the Patrick Claros Mortgage Team, DP Lambert with Goosehead Insurance, PMR Roofing, Home Serve Home Warranty, Republic Title, Evolution Moving, and Keen Landscaping. And now your host, real estate broker, consultant, and best-selling author, Todd Tremonti. What's up, party people? What is up? Welcome to the show. It is Todd Tremonti. We are talking North Texas DFW real estate. We'll take your questions statewide if you want to go all of Texas. But we have got a full studio once more with the Yanni Donnie and Classy Courtney. I'm back. All, all in studio, all with microphones. Welcome back, Ian. Thanks. Glad to have you. Courtney, you want to unmute that thing? Look at that. Look at that. Welcome to the show. Good to be here. Listen, so far, 2023 has been pretty solid. We'll talk about it. We'll get into what's happening right now on the ground in Dallas-Fort Worth real estate, but we also want to take your questions, 214-310-0008. That'll get you through to Texas Real Estate with Todd Tremonti and the gang, 214-310-0008. If you're anti-calling into a radio show, then go ahead and just find us on all the social media stuffs. Just look for Todd Tremonti. It'll be Todd Tremonti Realtors or Todd Tremonti Team or some version of that. And uh, we'll be glad to take your questions. You can also check out the YouTube channel. Just go to uh, ToddTremontiTeam.com. Click that video tab, and uh, we'll answer some of the YouTube questions here on the show as well. So we want to be an advocate for you, a resource for you. 2023 is uh, acting a little differently than some expected. If you're following the headlines, which I know many of you do, 2023 is acting uh, a little differently. It turns out real estate's not as predictable as some would like. So we'll dive into that here in a minute, as well as take your questions. Uh, If you have not connected with somebody about a real estate goal, uh, you want to buy, you want to sell, you want to invest, you want to refinance, you want to update your kitchen, you want to remodel, you want to replace the fence, any of those things. If you have goals for your home or real estate owned this year and uh, haven't spoken with someone to help you get clarity around that, you want a free strategy session. I assure you, you do. Free strategy sessions with our team all throughout the month of January. We do them all year long, but we do them uh, a lot of them in the month of January just to have a cup of coffee or a glass of water or a Coke with folks and let them know how realistic their goals are, what they need to know, what's happening in the market, statistically speaking, uh, what's changing, what's true, what's not true to give, help give clarity around goals and, and real estate desires for the year. So if you want to do that, Call or text 214-310-0008. Just text the word strategy to 214-310-0008 or go online to tatramaniteam.com. Click any button, fill out any form, call or text any phone number, and we'll get you taken care of. Don't wait, though. If you have plans of doing something real estate related at any point this year, start that conversation now. You cannot start it too early, but many, 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 many folks start it too late, and then that leaves them without as many options. So there you have it, 214-310-0008 with your real estate questions. We'll get to them in just a minute. Uh, I'm glad you said that there's been changes in 2023. Have you also noticed there's been big changes since about October 24th of last year? Um, I'm not sure where you're going with that, so I'm just going to let you drive that home. Chris Wilder got fired from Middlesbrough on that day, and we hired Super Michael Carrick. Have you seen what's happened since? All right, I'm going to be honest. I wasn't honest a minute ago. I knew exactly where you were going with that. I was just so not not interested in it. We're good again. Middlesbrough's good again. We've won six of seven, Todd. Yeah! <laughs> Up the borough, ladies and gentlemen. Up we're the into borough. the playoff places again. If you, if you can sense, those of you that aren't on YouTube and you're, and you're listening live, if you can sense the, the joy deep in... Ian's soul. Look, and, I like America. I'm, I'm in on, on, <laughs> on American sports and I've got American got teams that I root for, but there's nothing quite like the Borough. Here's the thing. When they're down, he's down. I'm down. When they're up, he's really up. My house is so gentlemen. happy for me right now because I'm, I'm not happy miserable for you. on I'm Saturdays. happy for the Borough. I'm happy for this new manager. I'm happy for the players that are mostly the same players that were not very good that long, not that long ago and are all of a sudden But we've got Super Michael Carrick and he knows exactly what we need. Dale Fry at the back and Tuber in attack. We're going to the Premier League. That's, listen, that? not, only, not only is it poetic, Courtney, but apparently it works on the pitch. See what yep. I did there? See what I did there? All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all, I got. that's all you get for your European soccer minute. Uh, English footy, the football, Champions League, right? 
championship yeah, whatever. division yeah. below the Premier I tried. League. I got a little ahead of myself there. I was, just, I was trying to play the game with you as if uh, I cared. And I say game for a reason, Courtney, because it's still not a real sport. But and anyway, this first segment is going to be brought to you by Patrick Gleros and Cardinal Financial. I'm going to cut Todd off there before we start an argument. What? Patrick and his team will take phenomenal care of you. They will deliver world-class service for you. Uh, no matter what you need when it comes to mortgage lending, refinancing, you can reach out to Patrick, patrickgaleros.com, G-L-A-R-O-S, patrickgaleros.com, NMLS number 308-804. Let's kick the show off. Kick it off. With a question we had in the office this week, and it was as it relates to, and I don't think we've really covered this before, but benefits, negatives of converting, uh, in this particular case, it was converting a garage into a sunroom. Okay. Kind of what's the process for that? Is that something that is worth doing? Can that be harmful when it comes to reselling? Is it something that can be changed back at some point? I think there's a lot of people just, there was a lot of questions that came along with it. Yeah, it's a very good question. And depending on where you live, this is super, super common. There's parts of West Richardson where it's more common to have a converted garage than it is to have a remaining original garage. Uh, and these are kind of bungalow style homes that had a one car garage originally. So the way we live in homes now and, and modern semi suburban DFW, uh, for most people's lifestyle, that space is more valuable as living space or an extra living room or a sunroom or whatever the case is than storage for the vehicle because it's only one anyway. You just said bungalow. Yep. Now, I use that term in England. I don't think I've actually heard that term over here. Well, normally, it's to ran normally I hear people Unidos. say ranch style home. Yeah, ranch style typically means that single story wide breadth on the lot. Most of the time it's brick and honestly not all that interesting architecture, but a very efficient way to build a home and, and get, you know, good value out of your lot. Bungalow to me and to most in the residential space is a smaller single story, uh, tends to be kind of boxy. Um, and there's some other features on the interior that can make it a little bit more of a bungalow style. But the, the point is, this is very common on lower square footage homes because it's the easiest way to get more square footage interior to the home. If you were to just like knock out a back wall and go 100% new square footage, you're pouring concrete, you're building walls, you're tying in a new roof. For you to go, okay, oh, I've got a 20 by 20 or 22 by 22, something around 400 square feet that's already attached to my house. It's already under a roof. There's three walls, if not three and a little bit more walls already there. What would it take for me to make that an interior room? Now, the answer is probably more than you think to make it a true equal comparable value to your main interior square footage. Typically speaking, what happens is this. You close up the wall where the garage doors were, and then you lay down carpet or wood, and you have someone connect the air conditioning into that room. So now it's air conditioned like the rest of the house. While that is very useful, that will never be for resale, which was part of your question, or, or an appraisal for if you're financing it. That will never be, it should never be valued at the same price per square foot as the original construction. And there's a few reasons for that. Will it be more or less? Less. Now, the amount less will depend a little bit on the area, the quality of the work, uh, the, fl the floor plan that kind of results from that now being part of the living space. So for example, let's just say, that conversion feels fairly natural in the house. It works well with the floor plan. It's, it's built out really, really well. You might then get 60 to 70% of the price per square foot of the room right next to it that was originally built as part of the interior of the home. Now, there's no exact math science to this, but you might be in the range of 60 or 70% of the original living room, which is at, let's just say $200 a square foot. Now this one's at 120 to 140, maybe 150 per foot for that addition. If it's newer and done really well. Now, if it's like, Hey, we walled up where the doors were and that's all we did. I mean, you might get like 20 or 30% of the original square price per square foot. There's a couple of reasons. Garage floors are typically sloped. They're not poured normally with the same thickness of a true foundation that's holding up the main home. Um, they're not, there's no ventilation, so there's no return air, there's no AC and heating vent, there's no plumbing, there's usually not 
these older homes that are, this is happening more often with, there's not like a lot of electrical GFCI protected, like plumbing related plugs and things like that. So typically the rule is you can do that. You're going to lose value on resale because now you do not have a garage. You're going to gain value because you now have an additional square footage, but the gained square footage will, will be valued at a lower price per foot than the original interior of the home. Now, that doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. You just need to know all the factors before you do that. And typically it's done not for resale reasons. It's done for lifestyle reasons. Hey, right. this is the most affordable way for us to get another bedroom, another living space, and not sell and buy and change schools and all the things. And so this is not a right or wrong question. This is just what is what does it mean? What is what do you need to factor in to make a decision like this? But you can typically convert a garage like that for under twenty thousand dollars, and now you have four hundred additional square feet. If those four hundred feet are at two hundred dollars per foot, you're obviously saving a lot of money to get that. Now, when you go resell it, though, the ROI on that was mostly lifestyle ROI. It's probably not a massive resale bump, but in some areas, it's more valuable to have that than to have the garage. In other areas, maybe not so much. So that's a case by case, uh, local question. Is there a, a big difference between? Um Re redoing the the air conditioning so that it actually connects to the rest of the house and or doing a uh, a window unit is yes. there some good I mean you can buy good window yeah. units now well that's a very that's a good question and there's like twenty of those types of questions that really do come up when you talk about converting non original space people will do this to a outside patio they'll convert the patio and this original question was about a sunroom. It's, it's, it's typically much more effective to convert a patio to a sunroom because you, you're not building one of those walls, right? You're typically wanting it open, lots of glass, let the sun in to the backyard. Garages typically, and the areas where this is done a lot, are in the front or the open wall is to the back alley. So that your alley or driveway or whatever. Right. But it's it's not where you would want all your windows to the to the live yard area. So all that to say, the one of the challenges of tying in the air conditioning and the heater is AC units are built for the square footage of the home. You just added 400 feet to your house typically or maybe 200 on a single car garage. And now there's more house than the unit was made to service and you're going to wear that unit out sooner or it's not going to cool very well. So yes, a, a, a window unit, or I think the much better option for something like that is what you call a mini split, which is like a dedicated unit that does vent out to the outside for incoming air and outgoing air, which is going to be thought of uh, more highly and more valued later than a true window unit that is taking up a window and also hanging out of the side of your house. But for functionality, a three or $400 window unit will get that done. It's not going to be viewed really well on a resale value though. And I guess you could do both, right? You could like get it so it comes, so that the AC yeah. is tied in and then you have like a supplemental unit to help with it. Yeah. And, and a, a mini split or some of the newer units that are coming out like that, that is made as a fully functional unit for one room. They're wall mounted. Think of it like a motel room where it's just mounted to the wall and you can fully control it, but way newer, more attractive, much more efficient and more functional. And, and, and can often be the most cost-effective way to heat one dedicated room or dedicated space where maybe two to three rooms flow together. You get the right size unit, and that can work out really well. It's always good seeing DP around the holidays and just kind of hearing and seeing what's been going on with him uh, and his team over at Goosehead Insurance. He's got some exciting stuff that's going to be happening uh, over the course of the next year. But you can re reach out to DP. You can go and see what he can do for your, uh, your home insurance, your auto insurance, uh, do what I've done. He saved me thousands of dollars over the years. Same, same. Um, same with Todd. Same with so many of our clients, our team members. They've all reached out to DP and his team and have had a great experience with them. Uh, DP.Lambert, L-A-M-B-E-R-T at Goosehead.com is what you can do to reach out to him. DP.Lambert at Goosehead.com. You can go to ToddTremontyTeam.com, click the radio tab, and you can find all of our recommended pros and vendors there as usual. While you're over there, you're going to see lots of different names of people that we work with all the time. One of them being PMR Roofing. And I say this all the time, but if you have not had a professional roofer, 
like ideally not immediately after a massive storm, but if you haven't had a professional roofer that knows what they're talking about, that's even keeled, that's not trying to oversell you, if you haven't had someone like that up on your roof in the last two years, you should do that. That's wise stewardship of your home and your finances and your investment and all the things inside your home that would be damaged by water penetrating your home, whether that's through ice, snow, hail, uh, wind and rainstorm, or whatever the case may be. But most of us in Texas aren't thinking a lot about our roof until we have hail, especially in North Texas. But all those seal, seals and silicone and all those things around the, the boots and the vents on the roof, those things heat up and they crack and then they can let water in. And this is the time of the year where the water comes in and it can come in slowly and then you don't realize until later that you have a really big problem. Uh, avoid that. Address it now. If you haven't had someone on your roof in the last couple of years, reach out to PMR Roofing, pmrroofing.com. They actually have a really helpful website at pmrroofing.com. Uh, when you talk to them over there, check, ask for Jordan. Uh, he'll take really good care of you. He will not sell you something you don't need, but if you do need help, they'll do that the right way. They'll do that fairly, and they'll take really good care of you in the process. PMRRoofing.com. One of the things that we get asked fairly regularly is, do you know of other properties that are on the market or coming on the market that nobody else knows about right now? Yeah. Right? People want to try and get a good deal. They want to try and find a home where they're not going to have to be going out there and you know competing with you know, tens of other people to try and get an offer. Last year was brutal for buyers, yep. especially at the beginning of the year. Uh, explain kind of what we have when it comes to that to help not only our buyers, but it helps our sellers as well. Well, it does. And honestly, not enough people ask this question. The vast majority of home buyers are literally just choosing from what they see on the website, on the portal website, right? I think, I think, uh, really smart home buyers have gotten away from depending on a real estate agent to be a real guide to the best homes and in inventory. Uh, it's become popular for an agent to kind of be like, well, I found my own house on the internet. So, you mm -hmm. know, what do I need you for? That was never the most valuable reason to have an agent. But ironically, it's becoming a little bit more value, more valuable of a reason to have an agent because really great agents do know about homes that other people don't know about. It might be, for example, on our team here at the Top Tremonti Home Selling Team, we have people that we speak with every single day that are going to put their house on the market next week, next month, next quarter, next year. So we have a running list of those. We call that our private portfolio list. There's about 20 other types of properties that might be on that list. But suffice it to say, that's an entire list of homes that we could sell to the right buyer, but we are not publicly marketing. They're not ready. They don't want to be publicly marketed for one reason or another, which means it's not on the internet. It's not on the radio. It's not on television. You can't find it on the MLS. You can't find it on Zillow. Uh, you are not going to know about that unless you work with us. Uh, I'm confident we have the best list of any agent and brokerage in DFW. But there's also information that um, nobody would know of unless they're aggressively scouring the market for these all the time. Like a uh, landlord that when their next lease is up is going to want to sell, mm -hmm. you know, stuff like that. People who have tried to sell and failed stuff, you know, things like that. So to your point, that's a huge benefit to our buyers because they might have five extra homes to look at that other buyers just don't know about that are less competitive, uh, that they don't have to wait for to come onto the market. And that's but, because we're allowed to show those <clears throat> properties to signed by your clients. Only, only to our And people. that's it. Yep. It's also a huge advantage to our sellers because long before they're fully ready to get onto the market, we're able to create demand and interest and competition and test pricing. Uh, we're also uh, always sort of building this um, sustainable pipeline of trying to find homes to that our buyers can buy, which turn into sellers and homes that our uh, sellers can, you know, homes that our sellers want to sell, which create inventory for our buyers. So we're finding buyers for our sellers and sellers for our buyers at all times. You may have just decided to buy or sell this week, but we've been doing that for 20 plus years. We have a list of over 40,000 potential buyers right now and hundreds of potential sellers and honestly thousands of sellers, depending on how we count it. So if you're interested in buying, selling, or investing in real estate this year, do not wait to the last minute to get prepared. Take us up on a free strategy session during the month of January, 
And um, if it makes sense for us to sit down together, then at that point, we can begin to introduce you to our private portfolio list, as well as some of our proprietary marketing and, and strategies in, uh, systems here that help buyers win big and sellers win big. Right now is a phenomenal time to be both a seller and a buyer. It's about as good a time to do that as there's been in quite a while. You can win big as a seller and win really big as a buyer, more so than you've been able to do in years. So reach out to our team, toddtremonteteam.com. That's toddtremonteteam.com. Or you can always call or text 214-310-0008. 214-310-0008. Yep, and if you have not checked your home value this year yet, go to valuethishouse.com. And in less than one minute, you can find out what your home would sell for, what it's worth, what it would rent for if you're thinking about renting it out. It's going to give you a confidence score. Reach out to us. If you want something more custom, just reach out and just say, hey, can I talk to somebody? Can I have a more custom valuation? We'll jump on a short call with you. We'll jump on a Zoom with you. We'll come visit with you. You can come to the office here and we'll explain to you exactly what your home would sell for. And we'll give you far more detail. Go to valuethishouse.com. I'll just plug in there and say, if you, if you haven't checked your property value in the last six months, I really do think you're being irresponsible. I'm not upset with you, but I think it's irresponsible Especially with sound a little upset. Well, with property taxes the way they are in our area, why would you not be checking and verifying that number? You sound very upset. I'm not. I'm not that upset. Okay. But if you keep saying, no, I'm just kidding. Um, you need to know. You just do. Go to valuethishouse.com. If you haven't done that in the last six months, write that down and go do that today. It's free. There's no charge. There's no stickiness. There's no complexity to this. But you're just. It really is irresponsible if you don't have a pretty darn accurate idea of what your property is worth. Just as you think through your mortgage and your property taxes and buying, selling, staying, remodeling, investing, protecting it, all those things, it's one of your biggest investments in assets, even if you don't think of it that way. You need to keep an eye on its value. Go to valuethishouse.com. Home Serve Home Warranty have been serving our clients for years, friends, family members. And there's so many people that have used HomeServe over the years and have been happy. They've been really, really happy. They've, it's allowed them to sleep a little bit easier at night, especially during that first year when there's just some unknowns that can come up when you first buy a home. Uh, I've got friends that have just been so excited about the fact that when they've called HomeServe on a couple of occasions, they've been able to get the thing taken care of. You can go to HomeServe.com for more information about their home warranties, HomeServe.com. Yep. We've had home serve many, many times. If you don't know what a home warranty is, consider it someone else to call to fix things in your house. It really is that simple. Homeserve.com. Um, here's the thing. We are in the dead of winter in North Texas. This is like the heart of it. January and February are typically about as, as, as funky as our weather gets. Now is the time to begin planning what you want to do with your landscaping in the spring. The spring is too late to plan what you want to do in the spring. Now is the time to get trees planted, shrubs planted, and be thinking about maintenance in the spring, cleanup in the spring, walkways, landscape lighting, and potentially getting on a schedule for some seasonal color and things like that. If you're like me, I'm a little obsessed with landscapes, but if you're <laughs> even a little bit like me, you need to be thinking about that now. Reach out to Keen Landscaping. That's K-E-A-N-E, KeenLandscaping.com. K-E-A-N-E, KeenLandscaping.com. All right, folks, if you have questions, send them in 214-310-0008 or online at toddtremonteteam.com. When we come back, we'll be talking exactly about what is precisely happening on the ground in Dallas, Fort Worth, and surrounding areas when it comes to residential real estate. We'll be right back. Remember, folks, we only introduce you to recommended professionals because they've done a great job for us and our clients. So check out Patrick Glaros Mortgage Team, Home Serve Home Warranty, DP Lambert with Goosehead Insurance, PMR Roofing, Evolution Moving, Republic Title, and Keen Landscaping. We'll be right back with more Texas real estate on WBAP. Welcome back to Texas Real Estate with Todd Tremonti, brought to you by the Patrick Glaros Mortgage Team, PMR Roofing, DP Lambert with Goosehead Insurance, Republic Title, Home Serve, Home Warranty, Evolution Moving, and Keen Landscaping. And now your host, Todd Tremonti. 
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Texas Real Estate with Todd Tremonti. I am Todd Tremonti, but I am not the only one with a microphone in this studio right now. The Yanni Donnie is here in all of his glory, back from his holiday time away, which may, may, may this year is going to be away quite a bit, folks, so get used to Courtney. Um, we're thrilled to have the gang back together to be talking all things residential real estate across the great state of Texas. But we're here to answer your questions. So send them in, 214-310-0008, 214-310-0008 with any questions you have whatsoever about your real estate, about buying, selling, investing, enjoying your home. We just did an extended segment on uh, garage conversions, which is a popular question we get. Talked a bit about outdoor kitchens last week. Whatever it is that uh, you're curious about, making the right choice for you, your family, your finances when it comes to your home, let us know. But you should also, in between live radio, in between the shows, you should go check out the YouTube channel. Uh, go to ToddTremontiTeam.com, click on the videos tab, and you can see hundreds and hundreds of videos. Some of them past show episodes of the, from the show here, and others of them just educational videos that we shoot throughout the week uh, to answer questions from clients, uh, to help people moving to the area, from out of the area, or within the area. Uh, get what they need when it comes to DFW real estate and the North Texas market. So we're here for you. 214-310-0008. But here's what you need to know about the DFW market right now. I'm just going to tease this for you a little bit, and then we're going to get to it in just a couple of minutes. But um, you need to know that all the predictions that all the media folks were saying um, don't say the same thing. Lots of different predictions for 2023. Lots of confusion, even from the pundits. Shocking that uh, people are not in agreement. Well, last year they acted as if they were, just because they were basically reporting on the past. Uh, but this year there seems to be a lot of confusion, lack of clarity around what's happening. Um, but the people that were most bold last year, it appears so far, are wrong. So we'll get into that in a second. We'll talk about what that means. Yep, this first segment is going to be brought to you, as always, by Patrick Gleros from Cardinal Financial. Patrick has built his team in a very similar way to how we've we've built our team. We're putting people in a position to serve others with their God-given gifts and abilities at an extremely high level, world-class level, you might say. Uh, you can go to patrickgleros.com. You can start an application right there on the website, patrickgleros.com, G-L-A-R-O-S, patrickgleros.com, NMLS number 308. Eight zero four. Uh, hey, if you have questions, you should let us know. Two one four three one zero 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 eight. Didn't right. know you and Aggie talked with a little uh, little whoop right there. Did I gig him? Did I give one? Because that's you I did. I don't ever want to do that. Gig him. Listen, if you went to A and M, I love you as a person, but um, we need to talk about need to talk about I mean I just think your your heart showing right there talk about it's kind the of sounds a hidden, you make hidden thing the fact that you often chant farmers fight but have potentially never been to or on a farm but anyway moving on sick and bears the uh the deal we need to get into right now is the fact that uh, 2023 is acting uh more stable than many have predicted stable is the word at the moment now look it's early folks it is clearly early but um it's been you, stable 14 days well, the late 22 was more stable than many expected as well. So the current residential real estate market in DFW is more stable than many predicted. And what I mean by stable, while statistically speaking, we are still very much in a seller's market because we have moved from a truly extreme seller's market to a fairly approachable seller's market, that amount of movement has put a lot more buyer-friendly thinking in the minds of reporters and pundits and buyers and sellers. So that big movement has has made the market act more stable. By stable, I mean sellers and buyers giving and taking uh, a chance to win on both sides or a chance to lose on both sides. And this type of market demands a better strategy. Go ahead. Are there areas in DFW that are more of a buyer's market? Yeah, always. I mean, the truth is, at any time in any residential real estate market, there are areas of all extremes. Um, you know, for most of late 2020, all of 21 and most of 22, uh, well, that's not true. Early 22, uh -huh. um, we were in a clearly defined seller's market where almost every neighborhood, almost every house, almost every block, almost every corner was a 
hard-leaning extreme seller's market. But even then, there were little pocket here, little pocket there where you might have a little bit more inventory and a more stability or uh, you might have a really strange singular situation where the buyer had more leverage than the seller. But at the moment, if you were to look zip code by zip code at the statistics of our current market, you're going to see um, lots of variety, lots of variation. Uh, average, I would say averages are liars. And the reason for that is when you bundle a whole bunch of streets together, you get a neighborhood and that, that data just got a lot less reliable because this one street has a lot of inventory and this one street has no inventory. This one street is a seller's market and this one street is acting a little bit more like a buyer's market right now. Altogether, the neighborhood's a seller's market, but that doesn't tell you the story, which is why we continuously say that real estate is hyper local. But the answer is yes. Parts of Fort Worth right now uh, have just enough inventory and just enough price pressure that they're acting like a, a, a slight buyer's market. Mm -hmm. um, if you were to compare McKinney to Frisco, even though they're both like really desirable suburbs with beautiful homes and plenty of options, they're basically right next to each other. McKinney right now is acting much more stable than Frisco. Frisco is still acting a bit like a seller's market. Uh, not as much as it was, but definitely still that way, where little bitty parts of McKinney might act like a buyer's market where values have even dipped a little bit in some of those areas. So where do, where do we see the next six months or so going? Do we see it going and trending how it was trending towards the end of 22 and into 23 of becoming more and more stable, more areas becoming buyer's markets, or quote buyer's markets, like on the air on the, the early side of that or do we see things reverting back to a little bit more of what we saw over the last few years where it's been far more of a seller's market do you yeah do we have an idea of where this is heading here's my prediction for 2023 ready here we go um absolute instability and lack of clarity and what i mean by that is less uh, less of a homogenous market than we've had for a long time, like since 2011, probably. And what I mean by that Let is- me look up homogenous. Yeah, all things the same. <laughs> it's, it's, it's less of my neighborhood's acting like your neighborhood and his neighborhood and her neighborhood, and they're all pretty much the same. That It's, it's more of what I, we just said on that last question, where it's like, hey, if you have a really nice house that's clean and marketed well, you're going to do really well. You're, you're going to sell that house for good value. You might have the exact same house where you didn't prepare as well and it's not as well maintained and it's not as well marketed and that that's not going to sell very well, right? There's a lot more demand. There's going to be a lot more need for an expertise from a real estate agent, from a lender, uh, more effort needing to be put in from sellers, buyers needing to be more patient and careful be, and having the ability to be more patient and careful. And so this is a market where like I opened the show and said, look, um, it comes down to strategy. It comes down to, to thoughtfulness and, and, and effort in this market. You could buy high, uh, you could buy low and sell high in this market, or you could buy high and sell low in this market. Mm -hmm. Everything in between is an opportunity. Now, to be clear with you, that's a healthier market where every outcome is possible. And it comes down to the amount of you know effort and intention and expertise that you bring into your process. That's actually a healthy logical market. People that are smarter and try harder and make a bigger investment get a better outcome. And people that aren't, don't. So that actually makes more sense than the market we've been in for the last several years. That's what I predict you'll see more of this year. You might work in a big office where lots of people talk you know, every day, and you might hear one person say the market's terrible and one other person say the market's awesome, and they're both right because that's the experience they both had in this market because of the lack of clarity and lots of difference of opinions from, you know, media folks, commentators, and the, you know, the, the rumor mill in the neighborhood, you're going to see people kind of uh, experiencing very different things in this marketplace. We saw it uh, several times last year where a bad title company Ugh. was bad. And I hate, I hate it every time that we have to experience that. But on the other side, it's kind of refreshing to be reminded of how important a good title company is mm -hmm. and how important Republic title are as one of the leaders in the industry and how they make it so smooth and seamless for our clients time after time after time. And that's what Republic title do. 
You can go to republictitle.com. You can find out more information about them, republictitle.com. Check them out before you buy or sell. Uh, like I said, one of the leaders in the industry, we trust them, republictitle.com. If you have questions for us right now, you're listening to Texas Real Estate with Todd Tremonti. You can call or text your questions to 214-310-0008. 214-310-0008. If you're catching us on Facebook, feel free just to drop a comment wherever you see us. If you're on YouTube, comment there as well. We'll respond to just about any question anywhere and try to add some value in your life. Now, I got to be honest with you guys. I got this Facebook Live thing going over here and someone keeps hitting the little angry face. I wonder how we've ticked somebody off. I think it's kind of cool to be honest. I with think you, it was probably when you were uh, saying bad things about the Aggies. It might have been. If, 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 if your angry faces on Facebook right now are due to me talking smack about the Aggies, hit them again because I'm not stopping, suckers. Sick and bears. All right. Um, real estate related questions, though, send them over to 214 310 All right. Here's the thing. As you look forward to 2023, the most thoughtful uh, and intelligent buyers and sellers, in my opinion, are planning right now for the things that they want to get done at any point this year. If you want to move in the spring, if you want to move in the summer, if you want to buy a rental property this fall, if you're looking to purchase an Airbnb, if you're looking to remodel your kitchen, do not wait to the last minute. I'm telling you, do not wait to the last minute. That's when you find yourself overpaying for a contractor, uh, not having adequate inventory to look at as a buyer, uh, not having done all the things to maximize your resale value as a seller. These are the things we run into all the time. Here at the Todd Tremonti Home Center, we actually get calls from a lot of people that are currently on the market with another real estate agent. Now, they call us. It's totally ethical and appropriate. But what they're saying is, I've had my house on the market and I'm not getting any showings. I've had my house on the market and I'm getting really, really bad offers. And we start to investigate, and it's not always their realtor's fault. It usually is, to be honest. But it's not always. A lot of times, it's the fact that they've put forth no thought and no effort and sought out no plan or strategy, and they've just, they're just they just hoping that the world brings them exactly what they want. What I'm talking about is starting earlier in the process, sitting down with a professional in a professional environment to talk about, I want to sell at some point this year. I want to buy at some point this year. I want to cash out my investments. I want to make a first or second or third or fourth or fifth investment and getting a plan together where you might have two, three, four, five, six, or eight months to get all the ducks in a row to maximize the return on that investment, to increase the cash flow, to increase the uh, the the you know the surge influx of cash that you may get from that one investment, or to minimize the damage of a previously bad investment. But you need to start early. You can get a free strategy session with the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team right now by texting the word strategy to 214-310-0008, or you can just Google my name, Todd Tremonti. Find us online, call or text any phone number, fill out any form, um, whatever you want to do there, and we will get you taken care of. But you cannot start that process too early, but most people do start that process too late. Reach out to the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team right now. Valuethishouse.com is where you're going to go. If you have not looked at your home valuation this year, Definitely go there if you have not looked at your home valuation over the last several months. Uh, you can find it in less than 60 seconds what your home will sell for, what it will rent for. It's going to give you a confidence score. If you want something more custom, just reach out to the email that you'll get and just say custom valuation. Somebody on our team will give you a call, quick chat with you. We'll see how we can best serve you in that way, and we'll get you all that information. Valuethishouse.com. In the last few weeks, we have um, talked to and actually signed multiple uh, sellers that have a home on land. And that's something that we've been talking about yeah. a lot on the show recently, kind of the uniqueness behind that. Do you see kind of homes on land going the same way that you see kind of the market as a whole going? Or do you see something a little bit different for homes on land? What are some of the, the unique elements of that? Ooh, that's a really good question. My Thank answer you. is my answer is no. I think this segment of our market uh, acts a little differently in 2023. Real quick shout out to DM Goldman, who's on watching us on Facebook right now. She's fantastic. And I'm pretty sure had a steak dinner with her phenomenal husband uh, last night. Uh, who tolerates her listening to us all the time. Okay. Um, I think homes on land. And to be clear, when we say homes on land, we mean really big lots, half an acre up to 10, 15 acres, but not farm and ranch. 
we can help you buy and sell farm and ranch, but that's not our core specialty. Our core specialty is uh, people that want a big lot, big space, maybe some animals, room to play and run. Uh, that could be the half acre corner lot in your neighborhood, or that could be five acres on the edge of town, or you want to build a new home on 10, 15 acres outside of town. Um, that's one of the things we really love to do. Uh, middle, upper end neighborhood homes all over DFW, uh, homes on large lots uh, and one or two other areas we really love to specialize. But homes on, homes on large lots are, there's plenty of them in DFW to be clear, but it's obviously a much smaller marketplace than all homes in DFW. So it acts a little bit differently. And right now there's still a big trend uh, to get more space, to get a little bit more home. We've been saying this since long before COVID, but we've been really saying it since like March, April of 2020, when we said, man, people are looking to, instead of having a smaller house close to work, a storage unit, a gym membership, and access to a community pool, they want all of that at home. They want room for a home gym. They want their own pool. They don't want to have to store stuff off site, and they're willing to make th that investment all in one place instead of spread all over. And that's turned into a lot of people moving out to Benbrook and Weatherford and Wiley and Murphy and Saxe and Parker and um, uh, some of the larger lot areas of Frisco and DeSoto and you know all around the Metroplex, but trying to get you know a little bit more space, a bigger lot. I think you'll see that market continue to be a seller's market in 2023. Not as extreme as it was, but you're going to continue to see more people want those homes uh, than there are those homes available. And the sellers of those homes do really, really well. Uh, some areas more than others, uh, but certainly I think homes on land, homes on bigger lots are going to continue to be very much in demand, very popular in 2023. Home values continue to rise and still something that buyers uh, are wise to think about. And we would love to help you with that. If you have a need, just go to toddtremonteteam.com. Yep. What are some of the um, What are some of the things that you, you mentioned earlier? People need to be getting ready. You mentioned about keen landscaping as people mm -hmm. are preparing for the spring. What are some of those other things that people need to be preparing for? But maybe they need to wait just a little bit because, generally speaking, our coldest time of the year is like February time. Yep. So there's not everything that people can be doing. Is there anything that people should do to prepare for February? Is there anything well, that people can do to prepare for the spring? Like several what are some things. of those things? Yeah. Look, we've made it through at least one freeze so far this year, but you know, generally the worst is coming. Like if you're a gardening orchard landscape person like me, the, the, the old wives tale is wait till Easter to plant any of your spring flowers, right? The reason I bring that up is in North Texas, you typically cannot trust the weather to not freeze until late March, if not even early April. Mm -hmm. So for that reason, we, you still want to be preparing your home for winterization and freezing. That first one usually shocks us into like, oh, shoot, I'm not prepared. Do something emergency oriented. But right now is your reminder that there's there's probably more freeze coming. Uh, go buy freeze protection stuff on Amazon and the hardware store before the weekend, before the storm when they all sell out, right? You know, so wrap your outside hose bibs and faucets. Uh, be prepared with what your plan is for plumbing that's on an exterior wall, whether that means uh, a space space heater or something like that. Maybe insulate your hot water heater. Go out and put the foam insulation on outside plumbing lines and things that you didn't do before. Uh, it's cheaper and easier and smarter to do that now than six hours before the, the storm rolls in. We were actually out of town. We had gone out of town yeah. when the big freeze happened in December and we ended up, I, I turned off the water to the yeah. house and drained the house. Yeah. And I'd never ever done that before. Yeah. And uh, you, you know, Ian was wise to send a message to our whole team and get the, the mixed opinions of everybody. There's lots of ways to handle things, but that that's how I, I, I would do that as well. Uh, a lot of people turn, shut the water off to their house when they leave town anyway even if it's warm out just because of, you know, busted hot water heater or a pipe. Now you got thousands of dollars in wood floors and sheetrock and all that stuff. So it's just to kind of protect from any of any water related damage beyond just freezing. The other thing I would check out is it's still early enough to have your furnace checked out. I'm sure you've been running it a little bit, but you're probably going to run it for weeks at a time as we make our way farther into the year, farther into the winter. And so Having Rodney Reinhardt from Reinhardt Service Company, he's on the website at toddtremonteteam.com or your go-to trusted HVAC person. Rodney's been doing it, third generation, locally owned family, uh, world-class at HVAC. Check them out at toddtremonteteam.com. 
Um, so the other thing is um, having your entire HVAC system checked. Now, it's hard to check your air conditioner when it's not warm outside, but you can check your filters, you can check your vents, your duct work, uh, make sure that things are working properly before we roll into springtime when everyone else is going to start doing that. Pest control tends to not be a big problem this time of year, except for the worst stuff, which is like funky rodents trying to get warm in your attic. So those are things to check out right now too, before we get further into the year. Uh, any areas on the exterior of your house where an animal, squirrels, rats, possums, anything like that could get into your home, man, you don't want to be dealing with that. They get in now and you smell them when it gets hot. That's not fun. So those are things you can be doing now to prepare your home for later in 2023, which would be wise. Now, keen landscaping are a key factor when it comes to those things too. We talked about that in the first part of the show. Get that knocked out now so you can enjoy it in the spring. Uh, and then PMR roofing. Also talked about them a little bit earlier. If you haven't had somebody on your roof, checking it out, making sure that you don't have some very small like $25 to solve this problem type stuff. If you haven't checked that out now, you might regret it when we get heavy rains, heavy winds, maybe hail, probably ice. Uh, and then that could possibly turn into major, major problems in your home. So go to pmrroofing.com, pmrroofing.com. Ask for Jordan Collins. Tell them Todd Tremonti sent you. They'll take really good care of you. Let me just say one more thing here uh, and then we'll see what's next. But if you are thinking about anything, if you have any goals, anything you want to achieve, anything you want to get done, anything that's been on your to-do list for like a year or more, or, you know, that you haven't gotten done yet related to your house, we're here to help you. Just call or text 214-310-0008 and we would love to add value in your life. Someday maybe you'll hire us and we'll make some money, but that's okay. If not, we want to help you now. Let me also add, if you're thinking about getting into the industry and you want to have a conversation with us about what that's like, if we're hiring, um, what being in real estate is truly like, reach out to us and we'll have a conversation with you about that too. Absolutely. Our team is definitely growing right now. Uh, you have an opportunity to earn six figures in real estate, you know, within your first year and a half, maybe two years. Uh, but you can, you can make great money in real estate in year one, having a plan to being a part of the business where we're out there impacting lives and trying to make a difference in our community while also supporting our families. But check out a free strategy session, whether you want to get into real estate, buy, sell, invest, remodel, update, protect your property value through taxes or anything like that. We're here to help. Go to toddtremonteteam.com or call or text 214-310-0008. We'll get you set up for a free strategy session. You cannot do that too early. Way too many people wait too late. toddtremonteteam.com.